Well, good morning. Happy, happy Fairy Friday. It's Margaret Semple coming to you live from the beautiful Niagara region of Ontario in Canada. And it really is beautiful as I look out my window this morning. Sun's shining after a couple of gray, dreary days. So, yay. I, it's Fairy Friday. This week I am, as always, bringing you messages from the fairy folk using Brian Froud's beautiful Fairies Oracle deck. Two things I always like to say when I'm starting. Sometimes I see comments and sometimes I don't. Uh, hopefully you're hearing me this week. <laughs> Mercury retrograde is over. You should be hearing me. If anyone comes on and doesn't hear me, please let me know. But it should be working. And so sometimes I see your comments and sometimes I don't see them until later, but I always love to see them. They make me happy to know that you're uh, enjoying and appreciating the messages that are coming to you. The other thing is, Kathy says she can hear me. Hooray. Okay. So I know that's good then. Thanks, Kathy. Um, the other thing is, if you are seeing, hi, Kathy, another Kathy, two Kathys. Kathy and Kathy, hello to both of you. Um, if you are seeing this message, whether you're seeing it live or on replay, it's because this message is meant for you, okay? Um, so please take that to heart. Oh, and also, I've noticed sometimes I see messages from some people and then other people have put messages in at the same time, but I they don't show up on my feed till later. So. Um, hey, it's Via. Uh, hello. So if I don't say hi to you, when you say hi to me, I may not, it may not have come through um, the beautiful rural networks that are so much better than they used to be. Um, or I might just not see it because <laughs> that can happen too. Anyway, without further ado, let us uh, see who has the message for us today. Ooh, shuffle, shuffle. Oh, that one jumped. <laughs> oh, oh, how cool. I don't think she has ever come forward before. This is Lashta, the moon's daughter. Oh, she's lovely. Um, and look at her um, on in front of the old woman in the moon or a gnome. Anyway. Oh, she's, oh, that's not the moon. He's an interesting character, but she's sort of on top of him. So we're just going to focus on Leshta. So she is one of the fairy guides and guardians. And these are the ones who really want to help us to develop our own special gifts, talents, and inner magic. Uh, they help us with a sense of humor and they don't like pompous, overly pretend dignified people or actions. They tend to prick those little bubbles of pomposity when they see them. So beware. Um, they also really, the fairy guides and guardians really always are reminding us to live harmoniously with nature. So um, it's beautiful here. So if you can possibly get outside, please do. Okay, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> true dignity, true dignity comes from being kind, showing respect and consideration for ourselves and others. I always remember when I learned a long time ago, they always, <clears throat> you know, they say, uh, treat others the way you want to be treated, right? That's kind of the golden rule. However, you better treat yourself really nicely because if you don't treat yourself nicely, you're not going to treat others nicely either. So just throw that in. <laughs> all right, Lashda. So she um, is all about light where there's shadows, shadows where there's light, spiritual guidance, illumination, ooh, and riddles. She's a bit of a sphinx, so sometimes she brings riddles to help illuminate. Um, she is the bringer of light and darkness because moonlight both reveals and conceals and if you've ever been out on a moonlit night playing ghost midnight or <laughs> game we used to play when we were kids um or just walking in the moonlight you know that things can 
appear and disappear with the moonlight. It's so cool in the shadows. Um, she is one of the guides of the passages between the other worlds and this one. She tends the, the gate of revelation and she illuminates the way through. So it's, she's a little different than her sister, Epona, but we're, we're talking about Lashda. So um, she's all about illuminating, bringing to the light. She will sometimes draw a veil across her mother, the moon, and put little obstacles in our path just to see if we're paying attention. Because if we're paying attention, fine, we just navigate our way. But if we are not paying attention or if we're sleepwalking our way through life, we may trip or we may fall into a pit. <laughs> and then she goes, oh, that should wake you up, right? She's not doing it to be mean. She's doing it just to, come on, folks, pay attention, wake up. And it's always our choice whether we're paying attention or sleepwalking, right? So that's what we get to be. We get to be awake. Mm. Leshto wants us to be open to the great unknown and mystical experiences that teach us an expanded way to relate to all of the other worlds, right? The multiverse, as Marvel would call it. She wants us to reach for our higher selves, our cosmic wisdom, because folks, you know far more than you know that you know, and she wants you to start to realize this. Now, there are places within each of us that we may fear because they're shadowed and unknown. And we think, sometimes we may think, ooh, scary monsters, scary monsters, I can't go there, I can't go there. Whereas really there could be quite joyful, wonderful spirits if we would bring them to the light. Was it one of those monster cartoon movies where it's like, they're so nice, but everyone's scared of them until they look at them. Hey, hello, Carrie. Um, so Leshto wants us to explore these unknown areas because this is where so much of our potential and our as yet unexplored wisdom lies. She wants us to reach into our deepest, deepest minds. She opening those long shut doors. Oh no, I'm not gonna look at that. Oh, I'm not gonna go there. I'm not gonna go there. She wants us to open them. She illuminates and she reveals our hidden senses and talents. Sometimes the things that we're most afraid of doing or we're afraid of doing poorly are our greatest gifts. Uh, so I'll just drop that there. Whew. Uh, Leshda speaks to us in symbols. Okay, I mentioned she's a bit of a sphinx. So when we find the answers to her riddles, we get those keys to that multiverse, right? And by paying attention to the symbols, you know, there are symbols that are culturally um, known or they have general meanings, but then there's also our own symbolic language. So for example, um, a kernel of corn, corn seed dried, right? When I see one of those on the road or wherever, that's my dad saying hi, always, um, or swans. It's my dad saying hi to me from spirit. That's a pretty specific personal symbology. Uh, butterflies equal transformation. That is a much more generally known um, symbol, right? Of course, a butterfly showing up can also be a special hello from someone of yours, but it's also that general symbology, okay? So um, that's just kind of a side note to pop in there. So, flash to coming. All right, so you may be finding that 
what might have seemed like apparently random events and ideas are starting to fall into a pattern and beginning to make sense in a more cohesive way. Ooh, exciting! Things may be flowing more easily than usual and your choices may be bringing you more success, better results than usual because you're awake, you're paying attention, you're in the flow. You may be noticing that your psychic abilities, your, your hunches, your intuitions, your empathic feelings for other people or yourself, you may be th feeling that these are finding these are becoming clearer and making more sense right now and trust the process. Now, it's interesting that Lush is coming end of October because we're heading into the Samhain, um, Halloween time. October, November, the veils are so thin. Dreams right now are probably way more intense or... Um, you, you're, you're probably really noticing your dreams right now. Mine are really crazy, which is quite wonderful and fun. And I'm also having visits from loved ones in my dreams. My um, one the other night, I had a dream where my dog Dulcie and my cats Tobermory and Quicksilver came to visit me, and it was just like, oh, you guys, it's so nice to see you. So, just be aware that the veils are thin, so that there's a lot of stuff coming to you in your dreams. And Leshta loves to talk to us and bring us messages in our dreams. Now, she will use a lot of symbols because she doesn't want it to be too easy. Um, you know, look at that face. Mm. She's just, she's, she's testing you, but she wants you to succeed. If you're feeling a little bit extra anxious right now or being a little bit accident prone, it might be that change is happening on a deeper level and you might be ignoring or blocking that change. Okay? I'm not, I'm not, la, 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 pay, la, 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 la. No, that's when you trip over these things. She's like, hello, wake up, wake up. But, so just be aware of that. Pay attention, pay attention, pay attention. Leshte is probably trying to help you. So, yeah, really, it's all pay attention, pay attention, pay attention, shine lights, shine lights on those areas. Um, when something comes up and you go, oh, why did I do that? Or what's that? What's that all about? Just don't let that fluff off. Actually pay attention. Okay. Um, anything else? Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. You have wings. You don't even know how to use them. You have things that you know that you don't even know that you know them. Ooh, you are wonderful. You are so wonderful and magical and mystical and you don't even know it. Get in the moonlight. Get in the dark of the moon. Come and play with me. I will show you things and they will be delightful and you will learn and grow. Oh, blessings, come and play, come and dance. Oh, she's so cool. She's so fun. Wow. But she's got that little spark. You can feel that spark of mischief. It's like, yeah, come on, come on, pay attention. All right, anything else? No, that's it. Okay. <laughs> I swear, you guys, this whole channeling fairies is so cool that it started happening. I just love it. I just love it. Okay. Um, thank you, Lishta. I What else did I want to tell you? Um, check out my website. I'm now offering a half-hour Motherpiece Celtic Cross tarot readings, which are really going well. So much fun. Uh, a few weeks ago now, Jehobia insisted that I do um, pretty much a half price <laughs> offer on the um, single card fairies oracle email readings. And that I'm, I'm asked, he, 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 I said, asked him, well, how long do I keep that up? And he's actually told me, 
till the end of October. So, because for a while he said, until I told you to take it away. But now he's saying end of October. So that's there um, in the store. And there's some other things going on. And uh, I will keep coming random Fridays. Uh, but thank you for attending. And I wish you all a wonderful, wonderful, happy Fairy Friday. And be well. Okay, love to you all. Bye now.